what is up my friends you are very welcome along to tonight's video i hope that you are all well and for once well for once i think i'm going to be the bearer of positive news a lot has happened over the past 24 hours with regards to liverpool's search for summer recruitments as always we've gone through the media and tried to find you guys the latest updates as well as our own information and bring it to you and of course i want to know your thoughts in the comment section do drop a like on the video and if you haven't hit the subscribe button please do the summer is here and the season is over but the transfer window is only starting to heat up and we're going to keep you guys as up to date as we can throughout the summer we know Jurgen Klopp wants to get his business done early and it does look like positive steps have been taken so with that in mind what do we know well, we know for a fact now, because it's been confirmed in the media and being confirmed by the club as well, I believe, well, at least it's been briefed to the journalists, that Liverpool want three midfielders, a centre-back, and hopefully, if they can do it, a backup right back or some competition of full back to give Trent the ability to rotate, to be rested and maybe allow Calvin Ramsey, Connor Bradley the opportunity to develop. So good news on that front. Now we need to get into details, right? We need to start talking about names. Where are we on Alexis McAllister? Nothing to worry about. It's been widely reported that Liverpool expect this deal to be signed, done and delivered before he heads off on international duty with Argentina. I think it's around the 10th of June, if my memory serves correct. So nothing to worry about in that one. And as I've said to you guys for a while, whatever price you're seeing publicly, which is usually about 70 million, knock 10 million off that. I think it's going to be closer to 60 million, but we'll wait and see when the final numbers are announced. But they will be announced and he will be a Liverpool player. So that's one. Now we need to move into the other two midfield positions, a centre-back and, of course, maybe a full-back. I have nothing on the full-back today for you guys. I am going to ask you for some suggestions. For instance, Pavard. He's been linked uh, with a move away from Bayern Munich. Liverpool's name has been mentioned. What says you, my friend? Yes or no? But one midfielder that Liverpool are definitely after is Manu Kone. It's been widely reported over the last 24 hours that Liverpool have made him one of their primary summer targets. Now... How much is he going to cost? Well, reports today suggest it will be about 35 million euro, which, if you ask me, is pretty decent, right? 35 million euro doesn't buy a whole lot these days, but he does seem like, looking at his stats, looking at a few videos, because I'm not going to sit here and say I've watched much of Manu Kone. I haven't, but he does seem to have the attributes that Jurgen Klopp needs in a midfielder. Energy, pace, power, athleticism, the ability to, you know, go up and down the pitch for hours. That's what we need. We need legs. We need bodies. We need fitness. We need, we need warriors, quite frankly. We need shit houses in midfield. We need strong, physical players. And he looks like he's one of those. So, if Liverpool can get him for about 35 million euro, including add-ons, that's an absolute snip if it works out. If it doesn't, which I think it will, to be fair, because you guys are very positive about him. Anybody from our Discord or any Liverpool fans I've been interacting with, sold. Completely happy over, over the moon with Manu Kone. One thing weirdly keeps coming up, and that's the colour of his hair. He's going to have to change that to red, surely. I know he's that, that's probably, I don't know if there's any other reasoning behind it, but I'm guessing it's because it's the Bruce Munson Gladbach colours. But change it to red, Manu, and we'll all get along just fine. But anyway, jokes aside, on this, it looks like Liverpool were worrying about competition from the likes of Chelsea and PSG, but obviously we know that they're looking for Ugarte at the minute and Liverpool have jumped in to get ahead. Now, we know George Schmack has started his role at Liverpool. We know he's going to be focusing on the German market, but what we also need to know is that he likes to play transfer poker. What do I mean by that? Well, Julian Ward and Michael Edwards and Liverpool like to do their business quietly. We like to operate under the radar. Not this dude. This dude's a little bit like me. He likes to just call stuff out, drop a grenade in, watch it explode and deal with the consequences. He really sounds like my type of guy, George Schmadke. But either way, however the methods are, as long as they get the results, that's all that we need. So, Manu Kone, over to you. Yes or no? Now, the next player is probably the one you're expecting me to talk about. Kefren Thuram. <sighs> what can I tell you on this guy? Well, I can tell you one thing. Look up his injury record. There isn't one. It's brilliant. He's bulletproof. That's what we want. Now, I hope I haven't jinxed them, but we do need robustness. We do need a player or players who are going to be able to go through a grueling campaign. It looks like he has the goods. He comes from good stock. His father's a World Cup winner. He's doing really well at Nice. It looks like 60 million euro could be the number to get him out of Nice and to Liverpool. I can't tell you how close it is, but he is definitely on Liverpool's shortlist, according to RMC Sport. Uh, PSG are focusing on Ugarte, so Liverpool may be trying to steal a march there again and get it done. Jurgen Klopp and George Mark, as I said, won three midfielders, a centre-back and a full-back. So now... 
we think we've got the three midfielders. At least we have three credible names. Alexis McAllister, Kevin Thuram, Manu Kone. Who are we looking at for centre-back? Is it Anasio? Is it Ramos? Is it Guardiol? Is it Indica? No, 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 no. We spoke about a name before, a name from the German market, a name that George Schmack knows well, and that is, and excuse me while I read this out very, very slowly, Mickey van de Ven. So apparently Liverpool are looking to go to Wolfsburg and bring in the centre-back that I'm sure George Schmack knows very well. Uh, 40 million euro apparently is the centre-back's price that Wolfsburg would look for, which is again uh, 34 million pounds, 35 million pounds, something like that. Again, we, we love this price point, don't we? Liverpool love to go in and get deals done around £30 million to £40 million. Look back to our transfer record. There's a fair few of them. We're talking about Manu Kone being another one, maybe. So, look, I don't mind about the prices, as long as they're the right people. And I can, again, I can't lie to you. I haven't watched much of Mickey van der Ven, but I'm going to have to get used to that name. But there's already songs coming into my mind, and I'm sure the Liverpool fans will be getting them together as well. So, yeah, look, Mickey van der Ven. Know anything about him? Again, if it's who Klopp wants, that's all I want. I want Klopp to get his top targets. Bang, 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 bang. And then we move towards next season. So, Mickey van der Ven, what says you Anfield Agenda chat? One more little thing on Fabio Carvalho. So, we know an initial offer came in from RB Leipzig. We mentioned that to you guys yesterday. Liverpool described that, at least as Paul Joyce posted, derisory the offer. But it looks like um, Liverpool may think about losing them if there's a release clause in there. But I think they do picture Carvalho as having a future at the club at least that's what's been printed in the media that Liverpool do have faith he will one day be a starter so uh, Fabrizio Romano said that an initial bid from Leipzig for Fabio Carvalho was turned down as Liverpool do not want to lose the 20 year old on a permanent deal although talks will restart about the possibility of including a buyback clause in any deal and that makes sense for a couple of reasons it frees up some money for Liverpool to use now to bring in players and if we want to get them back then we know how much we have to pay you're probably going to have to pay a little bit extra on the buyback clause to make sure that the club that would have to sell, you know, get reimbursed for his time and stuff. But I'm okay with it. If it's the right move for Liverpool, if it's the right move for Fabio Carvalho, and if it allows Jurgen Klopp to go in in this window and, and get the players he needs, because that's what this is about. It's about getting this window absolutely spot on and making sure that we don't uh, we don't have to make do with also runs or rolling the dice on players that may or may not be good enough. So if Liverpool finish this window with the kid from Wolfsburg at centre-back, with maybe Pavard, let's say, as a full-back or another option, and the three midfielders we spoke about, Thuram, Kone and McAllister, what are you saying? Is there a title race in this next season or is it a stretch too far? It is over to you, my friends. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and I look forward to reading your comments and catching up with you guys soon. Much love. Talk to you then. Bye-bye.